welcome back to my studio. My name is Melissa and today we will be doing the second headband in the Christmas tutorial series. And today we will be using this gorgeous yarn universe but this one is the extra large so it is a lot thicker. It is acrylic and polyester so 98% acrylic 2% polyester. It is from Hobby. Uh, they have a huge array of colours in this. Um, I, I love the bling of it. It's so pretty, so Christmassy, very appropriate for now. Uh, you can see it is a 100 gram ball with two, 220 metres, 240 yards. It says it needs a 4 to 5 millimetre hook. And today I will be using my 5.5, which is my Furl's 5.5 millimetre hook. I will start the base chain in a larger hook size, which I generally do for most of my work because it makes it more even and sit better on your head. So this is my 6.5 Furl's. You'll need your yarn needle as well as your scissors. So let's get this project started. Once you have found the end of your yarn, leave a tail, that's what we're going to sew up with, and do a slip knot. Get your larger hook, my 6.5 is what I am using. And I am going to chain, generally it's about 60 to 65 to sit around my head. So you need a chain long enough to go around your head comfortably. Not too tight and not too loose, just right. So I will chain 60 and see where I go from there. I have chained my 60 and yes it did fit ideally around my head so 60 was good for me. However, I need an odd number for this pattern to work so therefore I'm going to chain an extra one. Now I'm going to change my hook from my 6.5 to my lower hook which I'm doing the body of my work with which is a 5.5. Chain one. Then turn your work. We don't want to work in the V at the front. We want to work on the lump on the back. This row we're going to be doing half double crochet. So it is yarn over, go into the lump on the second chain, the lump on the back there. Put your hook in, grab a yarn, pull it through, grab a yarn, pull through all three loops on the hook. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, going into that lump on the back of the stitch there. Put your hook in, grab your yarn, pull it through, grab your yarn and pull through all three loops on the hook. And keep repeating this in the back of every stitch. Do this until you get to the end and I will meet you back here when you've got to the end of this row. Finished our first row and at the end of that row chain one, turn your work and this is where we start our bauble stitch or snowball stitch depending on what you want to call it but I'm going to call it bauble stitch for this one. So the first stitch is always going to be a single crochet. So put your hook in, grab your yarn, pull it through and grab your yarn and pull through the two loops on your hook. The next stitch is the bauble stitch. So yarn over, go into that stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through yarn over, go into the same stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, yarn over for the third time, back into that stitch for the third time, grab your yarn, pull it through and grab your yarn and pull through all the loops on the hook and then the next stitch is a single crochet. Next stitch is the bauble, so yarn over, go into that stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through. Now make sure you pull it up so you get a bit of a gap there. Makes it easy to pull the hook through. Yarn over, back into the same stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through. Yarn over for the third time, back into that stitch for the third time, grab your yarn, pull it through, and grab your yarn and pull through all the loops on the hook. So you can see when you pull the loops up, pulling your loops, your hook back through that, makes it a lot easier. Next stitch, single crochet. Next stitch, bauble, one, always forget to pull it up, one, two, three, through, through, there we go. 
single crochet. Bauble. One, two, three, single crochet. So when you look, turn it around, you can see there's your baubles. And hopefully you can see the bling of the yarn there as well. It looks very pretty. So continue doing that, making sure you do a single crochet in between each bauble. So that's one, two, three yarns through, and then a single crochet. Repeat this all the way along, and I will meet you at the end of the row. The last two stitches of that row, no, row number two, the second last stitch should be a bauble stitch. So yarn over. And do your bauble one, two, three, and the last stitch should always be a single crochet. So the first and last stitch of every row should be a single crochet. Chain one, turn your work, see all the beautiful bubbles and the sparkle. I hope the sparkle comes up on the camera, it is so pretty. And this row is going to be a half double crochet row. So yarn over, straight into that first stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, grab your yarn, pull through all three loops on the hook, and keep doing your half double crochets all the way along. And I will meet you back here at the end of the row. Okay, so we finished the third row of half double crochet. So now we're on to our fourth row. And we're going to chain one, turn your work, and this is going to be another snowball or bauble row. So we always start with a single crochet, then a bauble. One, two, three. Single crochet, then a bauble. One, two, three. Single crochet, and keep going. And once you have finished that, I will meet you at the end of the row. We are at the end of our fourth row. Chain one, turn your work, and you should have two beautiful rows of baubles. Now what we are going to do are five rows of half double crochet. Yarn over, straight into the first stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, grab your yarn and pull through all three loops on the hook. So keep doing this five rows of half double crochet. So just go backwards and forwards, five rows. Remember between each row, before you go and start the next row, do a single quotes, um, a chain. So at the end of the row, chain, do your work and continue with your next row of half double crochet. So do that five rows and I will meet you back here after you have completed your fifth row. At the end of your five rows, it should look a little bit like that. And uh, the next row, we're going to chain one, turn your work, and this is going to be another bauble stitch row. So remember, you're always starting with a single crochet and then your bauble. So one, two, three always forget to pull it up no no let's get that off one remember pull it up two three there we go and then a single crochet then a bauble and keep repeating this until you get to the end of the row and I will meet you at the end of the row. At the end of that row you'll have another row of baubles and I think you get what's going on now. So the next row is going to be half double crochet, the next row is going to be a bauble row, the next row is going to be half double crochet. So we're repeating what we did down here. So make sure the next row, half double crochet, Next row, bauble, next row, half double crochet. I'm going to leave you to finish that, and then when you finish that, I'll meet you back here. Okay, we have finished crocheting now, and this is what it should look like. Well, 
something like that depending on the color you used okay so what we need to do now is just tie this off so get your scissors leave a long end snip it off and simply pull that Now we have to sew this together. What we need to do is grab the two ends and bring it together. Make sure that you've got your baubles facing up because at the moment they're going to be looking like they're on the inside. When you've brought that up together, fold the two ends in half and slip those two ends over each other like so. We need to get our yarn needle and put the yarn needle on one of those ends. I find it easier if you get the end that's on the outside. So making sure you've got these ends lined up together nicely. And then you're sewing them together. So make sure you go through each of the ends. So you're going one, two, three, four. As close to the top as possible. So you go one, two, three, four. And just keep making your way all the way along and making sure your needle goes through the top of each end there. And when you've come to the end, I just weave it along the top here. Just want to make doubly sure it's not going to come undone. Snip that off. And then at the other end, I just um, weave that through just to make sure that uh, it's all nice and secure and it's never going to come undone. Snip that off. Then turn it the right way around so you see your baubles. And there we go, we are all finished. And uh, I love the sparkles in there, the colours are gorgeous. Well, I hope you've enjoyed making your other snowball. If you haven't seen uh, the other snowball headbands, please check my link down below. And um, I hope you have enjoyed. I have a few more of these uh, Christmas tutorials to do, so please check them all out if you haven't already done so. Okay, everyone, like and share this if you've enjoyed it and hopefully i see you again back at the studio sometime very soon bye everyone mm -hmm.